Hey, this is Brian again with another YouTube video. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to add and configure charts using the chart module in the Tops of Trader platform. So first, let's start off with, with actually how do we create a new chart. So if we want to do that, we can either click this plus button up here where it says add modules. This is the main way to do it. If we click on chart, hold the mouse button down, and then drag the chart module where we want to place it. Say I want to place my chart directly next to the NASDAQ 5 minute in the same tab. I'm going to drop it right there. Uh, I'm going to select NASDAQ for the instrument. And there we go. There's our chart. So let me actually maximize this chart so we can take a look closely at different type of features we can add to this chart. Click full size. So first you'll notice that we have a crosshair button here. So when I have it unclicked, you don't see the horizontal and vertical lines going across with the data on both axes. So if I click that crosshair button, now we can see the price and the date and time information as I'm hovering my mouse around. Let me turn that off for now. There's also a data box to the lower left-hand corner. You can see uh, the open high low and close and the volume of each candle. And then there's drawing tools down here. You can draw various types of trend lines, support and resistance. Uh, you can also add volume profile and a little bit more. A little bit more. So let's talk about how we can zoom in on our chart. So if I click this zoom in button right here and then I right click and then I actually right click on my mouse and then drag to the section of the chart that I want to zoom in on then left click to zoom in on it and then we can see the, the price action a little bit more in detail. We can click the zoom out button to go a little bit further out and eventually it brings us back to the current data. Uh, if we want to change between different time periods we click this five minute and there's various different time frames we can choose from. I'm going to go to 30 minute for this example, different types of chart. Charts we can have here where we can represent the price action. We can select candlestick, which is what I have here. We can use bar charts, line charts, bid ask volume, Haganashi candles, Renko, and point and figure. I'm going to stick with candlestick for now because that's what I use with trading. And then let's look at some of the chart settings we can change. So you can turn the grid on and off here. I'm going to turn it off for now. You can show your current position. I recommend keeping that checked. Show orders as well so you can see where the live orders to buy and sell are that you actually have on the ladder. Let's click price level settings. This is a really cool feature. So top step trader platform will actually plot the intraday high, low, open, and midpoint of the range for that day automatically for you so you can tell right away where those critical points are. Let's go uh to showing fills we want to have that checked so we can see uh, more or less it's good for a trade review if you just want to see throughout the day as you enter trades where you entered and exit exited the trades uh if we want say we're zoomed in like all the way to the left here i'm just clicking with left clicking with the mouse and dragging to the, to the right here moves us to the left on the chart Say I want to get back to the where the actual last price is, so I'll just click go to current bar and it'll bring us back there. Uh, so for auto fit chart, say I zoom all the way out, you see how this chart isn't adjusting for the price action that's below the below the chart here on the x-axis. So what I would have to do is click auto fit chart, so that'll actually bring everything in within that time frame. It'll show all the price action. For me, it's a little messy, but we have to zoom in. See how it's not. Now I zoom in, it doesn't look that great. So I again have to click auto fit chart so the price action looks, it's not compressed and it's easier to see. Next up, let's talk about configuring chart elements. So if you click this button, this will show uh, pretty much if you click this, this is the instrument on the 30 minute chart. These are the bars. You can actually change the chart type here, the time frame, the different colors of your candlesticks. You can also control whether or not you show your fills and trade lines here and the minimum number of bars to load on your chart. And if you have indicators here, this is where you would see them, but I'll make another video about that. It's where you would be able to edit the settings on those indicators and also uh, remove them easily. 
So here, this next button is actually for adding indicators. So I'm just going to go ahead and add volume for now and just click save. And you can see the volume now down below, uh, below the price action. So this was actually, this is actually a template list. So if I want to save this template, I can just click save template and I'm going to name it top set trader test two, click save. So now that is saved. So if any, if I were to create a new chart, if I click this plus tab, uh, it's just going to create a new chart for me. I say I want to use ES, click select. It actually keeps all the settings for me already, but let's say that I got rid of all these price levels and the volume and just had a basic chart. If I go to template list and then I click tops of trader test two, it should load everything that that previous chart had. So I don't have to do everything step by step again. So now let's go over here to the top right of this chart. So this H right here, will actually do a toggle. I don't really use it that much. It's for, uh, you'll see like this little button that pops up here. It's for disabling hotkeys. I don't use hotkeys trading, but if you do, that's how you can control it on your chart right there. But these view settings is pretty cool. You can click, there's various things you could actually edit, and look at here, contract details. You can choose whether or not to show that. I highly recommend that you do. Uh, trade mode will essentially just show your buy and sell buttons right here. If you use OCO orders, bracket orders, you'll have different settings here that you saved. And also a flatten button to exit at market and cancel all your orders. And then what else do we have here? We have stop types. Definitely would be keeping this to a stop. You want your stops to hit trigger at market. And then settings in here, you can have a global crosshair. Um, continuous, continuously auto fit chart that could be good for you. I'm going to turn it on for now and you can show order lines as well. So as I'm scrolling, it's auto fitting for me. So I don't actually have to click that auto fit button. It'll do it for me, which is pretty cool. So bar countdown settings, if you're someone that needs to have a little bit more patience, this might be good. So you can wait for the candles to close if you enable it. It should have a countdown, but this actually the market's closed right now, so you won't actually see anything. So if you want to roll forward or roll backwards on your contracts, this is where you would do that. But I think Top Step Trader, this platform actually will do it for you automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. And then let's just click uh, full size again to go back to the, the previous size of that chart we had before. So that pretty much wraps up how to add and configure a chart module. In the next video, we're going to talk about adding indicators and drawing trend lines on our chart. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, don't forget to click the subscription button, the logo that's popping up now. And we will talk to you guys soon in the next video. All right, take care. Bye.